back in business. James, are you there? I believe I've made a breakthrough on the source of the storms. Come see me at your earliest. James, we're on the right track. I can smell it. I've triangulated the approach vectors of dozens of storms, and I think I've narrowed down their likely direction of origin. And we're right about those storm acred. There's every indication they're carriers of the pure stuff as well. Ah, uh, sure. But look, Doc, I gotta tell you. Braddock's out of Coronas. Never paramilitary pulled rank, benched him. The new Commandant is bad news. I don't know how much he knows, but he's looking for you. I think you should clear out. I know a place you'll be safe. James, you're being a little dramatic. We're close to the ultimate jackpot. With this knowledge, we could hold all the cards, do you see? Please trust me on this. I've been dealing with Nevik nonsense for years. There's no better protection than having something they want, something that you can bargain with. I'll watch my back, I promise. Now listen, I cooked up some subterrestrial resonance samplers. I'm getting pretty close to where the signal has settled down. You still reading me? Damn, I was afraid of that. 
Always a bitch getting into reception past Shaq's peak. I'll have to fill you in when I get back. Jim out.
this thing. Outside the lines or whatever. But how can I help if you won't explain it to me? What is this place? Not a place. Yushi. Yushi? It's a name Saichi gave her. It means godlike life and a source of pure tea energy. No. The whole planet is the source. She purifies and provides to those who accept without taking. She is the engine, the organ by which all things of our world are brought into harmony. Wait, so she's a harmonizer? Some giant organic harmonizer? No, no, it's the technology new she inspired has long outlived those who ever knew her secret. Well, you're skipping ahead. Go back a second. When I drilled the acrid attack, like antibodies defending a host. Which you knew. You'd seen that before. The frenzy that overran the first colony. I was a scientist for Nevik. It was I who led Nevik's drills to her flesh. I knew she was alive. Yet in my ambition and arrogance, I let them drill regardless. Alive? Like any living thing. She fears. She angers, she hurts. Pierce her hide, will she not bleed? Stab her heart, will she not die? 
she deserved to be protected. And I failed. There are those who believe that pure tea energy could be the discovery that saves mankind. If we can find a way, as you did, to harvest it respectfully, what if she could sustain the earth? Look at the lives we could save. Dreams of a soul untouched by malice. But respectfully, is not Nevik's way. They would come to her with drills, and she would defend herself. And if she did not destroy them, they would surely destroy her. They would bleed this planet dry, and leave no trace of life. Jim, above all else, Nevik must never know about Nucci. Tracy, hi. I don't ever want to keep you waiting again. I really don't. I just... don't know what to say right now. This job... is a lot more complicated than I ever figured it for. I'm trying to put us first. Stick to the plan. Earn what there is to earn and get on home. I do what's in front of me, what seems right. Sometimes I wonder just what exactly the hell I got myself into. Beach sounds nice, though.
need your best hunters, preferably the ones without children. This is gonna get bloody. But what of our plan? To, to bring our people together to it's persuade It's too late for that, Mira. It's them or us now. For decades, I teach my people peace. Now you would have us march to war? Roman's research is what led me to Nushi. Now Nevik has it, and it's only a matter of time. Your men, your Corona's crew, they'll fight alongside us, won't they? Can't count on that. Maybe if I had time to explain who you are. But I've been lying to them so long. It's best we leave them out of it. Suppose we succeed. They will call for reinforcements. Return with greater numbers. Yes, that's why step one is the relay. As long as this cruiser is grounded on EDN-3, Eisenberg needs the satellite relay to broadcast off-planet. So we're gonna need to blow it up. I can do that. Once you turn against your masters, how do you expect to ever see your family again? You would strand yourself here. We don't destroy the cruiser, we commandeer it. Once we break Nevek's grip, we give everyone a choice to stay or go. And once you go, how long before Nevek returns again to look for their lost? Before we destroy the relay, we'll hack it. Use it to send a message. An idea that should buy you another 50 years. The relay gambit doubles as a diversion. When Eisenberg sends troops to investigate, your forces will be ready to hijack the cruiser before they even think of returning it to orbit. We will be ready. Jim, I can handle the explosives, but I haven't a hacker skill. On that part, we're gonna need a little help. I am so in. Really? But I haven't explained I it. I assumed it had something to do with the snow princess you've been hanging out with. It's cool. I saw her on your rig's video feed. I figured you'd explain it when the time was right. So, yeah. I know who I trust. I trust you. you say the word. Okay, hold on. You're a remarkable young man. Nobody's ever called me a man before. Probably because they thought you'd say that. <laughs> <laughs>